Welcome back to the KSS YouTube channel. On today's episode, we're going to be doing some del sole prep. Uh, so Aiden's going to be working on trailing arms. He's got some uh, modification uh, plates for uh, bolting on uh, insight hubs, front hubs, to accept axles for the rear. So you're going to like, take original EG, well in his case del sole specifically, uh, trailing ar rear trailing arms, and you got to cut out the back, some of the front, and do some welding and some measuring. Uh, to put these on, weld them in place, and then he's going to be able to put these, like I said, uh, insight hubs. Uh, me in the background, I'm just going to be prepping a transmission for the My Del Sol, the black one. Um, this is an 05, uh, 06 RSX base transmission, so the sensor's in the front. Uh, so I'm going to be converting it to accept a sensor in the rear. So I've made a diff, I've taken a ring gear out of a one of our spare CRV transmissions, uh, like the speed sensor gear. Uh, you've seen this in our LSD swap video, uh, where you just put that on to accept a uh, rear speed sensor. So yeah, I'm just going to be opening up a transmission, putting it back together pretty much in the background while it is working on his trailing arm. So uh, we're going to bust out the tools and get to work. So these plates I got here are just a DIY um, trailing arm plates. These are from a guy, uh, his name is David. I think it's uh, Vizcara I will drive on Instagram. I'll throw a little plug uh, on the screen there. But uh, yeah, uh, good price. He shipped it out in uh, a couple weeks and uh, looks pretty good. I'm impressed with the, the quality of it. So uh, we'll see how it all works. So I just got to get this whole like drum assembly off so I can get down to the, the bare uh, arm and then I can start welding onto those. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do with uh, mocking up and measuring. We got some instructions here and uh, yeah, we'll get to it. So there's going to be um, spindle nuts here and here. Take those off and then four torques in there that you have to take off. And I think once you take those off, this whole drum assembly can just come off and then we'll be able to uh, weld on those other plates. So I just gotta figure out what size that is and then I'll, uh, I'll take those off real quick. So got the drum assembly off. There it is right there. Um, it was just four T50 bolts from the other side. And uh, so I already got started on this. You have to clearance this out to um, have a space for the axle to go. Um, I just kind of did a rough cut and I'll have to mock it up and see if I need to take out a bit more. You also have to cut out this section here on the arm because it has uh, interference with the axle. It has a curve here and uh, yeah, it'll hit the axle when you try to put it in. So just this curved area here, you can sort of see what I did on this finished one here. Um, just cut this section out. Now, when you weld this arm on or when you weld the plate on, there's this alignment hole that you have to line up. So you kind of leave this section there just so you can bolt it up. And then once you're done welding it on, whatever, you can cut this off. So it kind of looks stupid like that, but that's going to be gone here. And then you'll take this little plate that he provides and you'll bend it and make it go around this surface. So it has a nice cage in there. So that's uh, approximately what it's going to look like. And we're going to get to cutting this one here. So that curve section I was talking about, got that cut out and also got the three and a half inch hole done. I made this template or to put it right here made this template so that it goes off of that hole and that hole, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, those two holes. And it allows me to have a center point to uh, to drill that hole. So now it's time to mock up the plate, have it right here. So what you're gonna do, you can kind of see this on a semi-finished one, a little sneak peek. Um, there's an alignment hole up there that's gonna line up with that hole here. So what you're gonna do, so you can see that sort of lines up. So you bolt that down, like just loosely so that you're still able to turn this arm. And then what you're gonna do is take this paper that comes with this kit and it's gonna go on the edge of the arm and it's gonna approximately line up with that. You're gonna have to tweak it around to make it uh, exactly fit. That's pretty much what it's gonna be. I might have to move it just a tad more, but that actually looks pretty good as is. So yeah, just make sure that your surface is nice to weld and uh, tack it on and then you're uh, Ready to go. Okay, so Aiden is ready. He's got the uh, gun in his hand. He's got a helmet and probably can't barely see me. Um, uh, yeah, he's gonna just put like four tacks, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, on each side. Or Sorry, that's a total of six, so six tacks. And then I'm gonna bring it to my work and I'm gonna replicate this like I did on the other side. Cause that, we had to cut some footage because that did not go as easy as we were talking. So we are making the actual footage like the edit is gonna be with this arm, but yeah, so we already welded one and I'm just gonna to have to replicate the full welds once the tacks are done. So he's gonna go tack that right now. 
<laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, she's all tacked on. Not the prettiest uh, tacks in the world, but uh, it'll do until Kevin can uh, fully weld it up like the other one. But um, now the next step is you're going to see, oh, crap, I can't get to my bolts to bolt my hub on. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to notch this out. So this plate, if you follow this line, it kind of goes up here, kind of in a square. So what you're going to do is I have my where is it here? Uh, die grinder tool here, and I'm just going to go all around there until I can have access to the bolts. I'll actually show you what it looks like on the other one. You can see that you have access to your four bolts now for the hub. I still have to remove that there. That was the um, mock-up hole where you put the bolt through. Now that Kevin fully welded it up, I can remove that now, so I'll do that. But yeah, I just got to replicate the space that you have here, make it into a square. Just finished getting it all notched. I'm just leaving this bolt hole here because I'm waiting for it to be fully welded. And I can take that bolt out uh, and then grind that away, just like I did on this one. See, there's no, uh, there's no tab there with a the bolt. So yeah, next step, one of the final steps is you need to make a cage in here. Now he provides you with these, uh, these two plates and I already started bending this one to get it to shape and it's approximately going to sit, sit something like that. It's kind of hard to do there, but approximately like that. I've still got to bend it a bit to make it all nice there, but um, it'd be a nice cage to just add some strength to it because once you cut it, it's kind of taking away a bit of strength, but that'll uh, make it all good. So yeah, I'll get that tacked up right now. Actually, I got to do a bit more bending and then she's good. Okay, in the last clip, uh, we were tacking on um, a plate here that covers this little open area. Uh, we didn't do it to this one because we didn't have access to a welder just yet, but now we're just ready for some mock-up for the uh, insight hub, the axle, the drum, or the, sorry, the uh, rear rotor, uh, caliper, pads, and yeah, obviously the bolts. Uh, we're going to slap everything together, uh, make sure everything mocks up correctly. We're going to be honest with you we actually tried it before everything does fit but we're going to show you the procedure of how everything fits together so let's get to the tools so ada went to the bolt store because um to get allen bolts because in here you can't access with a uh, socket so we're going to be better off with a allen like this so yeah allen key bolts as opposed to just regular uh bolts because we can't get a socket so yeah we're going to get onto the installation of the bearing uh slash hub assembly for from an insight so we proceed with the bearing and the bolts. Okay, so we got all the caliper, bracket, and caliper whole setup on. The, as you can see, the rotor rolls. Uh, it's just held on by one lug nut for now, just so it doesn't wobble all over the place. Because we don't have the two little screws, uh, which we usually throw, it at, throw out anyway. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, the final thing to make sure and prove to you guys that all this uh, rolls is the axle. These are two uh, wagon rear axles and chain shafts. Uh, I think it's two, yeah, two driver sides, so the two long axles. Yeah. Now, as you can see right here, it's very close, but there's no, um, there's no contact. So it just almost enough. touches them, but they're fine. So yeah, that's the full setup of the uh, all wheel drive for Aiden's Del Sol. Well, almost complete there. We still, still need to weld that plate here, but that's just gonna be around here actually if you think of it that gives us more access to show how it works yeah exactly. for now so. so uh yep that's pretty much uh that whole arm is done so that's the setup for this uh mod the little brackets for the all-wheel drive just a uh, cheap way if you don't want to spend uh thousands of dollars for uh, you know s1 built or all the other aftermarket uh, brands it's pretty expensive so okay so this is gonna wrap it up for this episode uh Pretty much to finish this whole arm would be to weld that little plate that I was talking about two seconds ago and just put some new bushings because these ones are a little worn out. But it is a, uh, even with this bad bushing, it's still a fully functional unit. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this episode. I think I mentioned in the beginning of this episode that we're going to work on my Del Sol. There's enough footage for a video with just this and it's kind of going to be mixed with two Del Sols and it's going to confuse people. So uh, we're just going to keep that for the next episode. We might have some footage already for that, but I did I already did some work. So we'll explain and we'll go further into my Del Sol in the next episode. Uh, yeah, lots of work to be done on all the cars. So uh, yeah, that's it for this episode for the 14th time. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, okay, so in the other... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs>